Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to check out the best Sony cameras for video in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these Sony cameras for video, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality Sony camera for video according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Sony AE7 Roman 3. The Sony AE7 Roman 3 is the camera that raised the bar in the same way that the Canon EOS 5 D Mark Roman 2 did when it arrived a decade ago. It packs in the features around its full frame 20 form sensor. What's impressed many photographers from an amateur all the way through to pro is the incredible sensitivity range which can be expanded from ISO 5200 4800 making ideal for landscape as well as low light work. The AF system features 693 ultra-fast phase detection and 425 contrast detection AF points and this is coupled with a fast shooting rate of tenths ideal for sports and wildlife. Video makers will also be happy with the 4K and 1008 i video capture. The Sony A7 Mark Roman 3 packs in the features, and with the support of the now extensive Sony E mount lens range, has become a firm favorite for pros and amateurs alike. Moving on to the next and number two with Sony A6600. The Sony A6600 is Sony's flagship APS C format mirrorless camera, and it's aimed at enthusiast photographers and videographers who want to shoot in a variety of conditions. It features a 24.2 MP XMOR CMOS image sensor, the Beyond ZX image processor, and a front end LSI, as is implemented in Sony's full frame cameras, were better enhancements in still and video image quality. Among the A6600's impressive feature set is Sony's innovative 5-axis in-body image stabilization system that provides a 5.0-step shutter speed advantage. The Alpha 6600 also delivers an autofocus acquisition time of just 0.2 seconds, with 425 phase detection AF points covering approximately 84% of the image area and 425 contrast detection AF points. Also on board is Sony's real-time tracking and real-time IAF, the latest version of Sony's IAF technology, which employs AI-based object recognition to detect and process eye data in real-time. Real-time IAF promises improved accuracy, speed and tracking performance of IAF for both humans and animals, and allows the photographer to concentrate exclusively on composition. It's a significant bonus for pet and portrait photography. High-resolution internal 4K movie recording with full pixel readout without pixel binning in Super 35M format is also on board. You'll also find built-in interval shooting for time-lapse videos and a 180-degree tiltable 3.0 Type 921 dot Aprox LCD touchscreen. It may not have the same shape as the Sony A7 series of full-frame cameras, but the A6600 is much of the same technology, enabling it to deliver impressive results with a wide range of subjects. The number three position is held by Sony A7R Roman 4. What makes this camera remarkable is the fine balance of the features, size and build quality. A7R Roman 4 feels from the outset that it has been designed as a workhorse. Aside from the resolution, the specifications of the A7R Roman 4 and A7 Roman 3 are close, but it's the robustness of build that set the two cameras apart. Dials and port covers are all more robust and better suited to anyone out in the field or in the studio porting their camera into a computer for tethered shooting. Landscape photographers can make use of the expanded sensitivity range of between ISO 50 to 320,000 for deep rich color and detail to capture desert sands or utilize the camera's uppermost sensitivity when shooting the Aurora Borealis. Back in the studio, the hybrid AF system with 567 phase detection AF points will ensure pin sharp portraits and all the control you'd expect from a pro camera. Capture One, a firm favorite in pro studios, has even released a Sony-specific version of the software confirming the A7R Roman 4's place in the professional studio. Next at number 4, we have Sony A7S Roman 3. No doubt, some videographers were hoping for a big jump in resolution from the 12M A7S Roman 2. However, 
Sony already has the 61 MP A7R Roman 4 and the 24 MP A7 Roman 3. So sticking with 12 MP means that the A7S Roman 3 has even better low light capability than its predecessor, but with a much better autofocus system, a VARI angle screen, and the highest resolution viewfinder around. The A7S Roman 3 is about more than just grabbing the headlines for its resolution. It promises to make capturing 4K video easier than before and for that video quality to be the best 4K footage you can get from a Sony camera. It doesn't disappoint as the quality of the footage is superb, as well as a host of improvements to its video specification. The Sony A7S Roman 3 introduces the highest resolution electronic viewfinder we've seen to date, and it's the first Sony A7 series camera to feature a VARI angle screen. According to Sony, this is something that videographers and photographers have demanded. As well as the VARI angle screen that everyone wanted, the Sony A7S Roman 3 adds a great new viewfinder and improved video features. The number 5 position is held by Sony A7S Roman 2. We leave the Sony A7S Roman 2 on our list of the best Sony cameras because it's still a really solid camera, and its price is likely to come down now that it's been succeeded by the A7S Roman 3. Its low resolution sensor has been fine tuned for the video to ensure maximum quality and is regularly used as a lightweight broadcast camera. Essentially, the 12MP sensor enables full pixel readout without pixel binning, so making maximum use of the sensor. With features and layout more akin to a stills camera than video, it makes the transition for today's generation of photographers to easily transition between stills and video. It also packs in Pro Log Color modes such as S Gamma 3, Sin Slash S Log 3, which makes it easy for video editors and directors to seamlessly blend footage from multiple cameras. Of course, ensuring that you're able to capture the best possible quality video, it has options to shoot at 4K, 3rd ifs, and 1000 ADIP, 120 ifs. Being small and lightweight makes the A7S Roman 2 ideal for handheld use, and here the camera features 5-axis images stabilization to ensure smooth, fluid handheld footage. The number 6 position has dominated by Sony Aeon. The Alpha Aeon is Sony's most advanced camera to date. It combines a high-resolution full-frame sensor with high-speed performance. It features a new 50.1MP full-frame Staptix More RS image sensor and can perform up to 120 AF A calculations per second, thanks to its impressive processing power. The Sony Aeon can shoot at up to 30 frames per second while its large buffer allows for sequences of up to 155 full-frame compressed RAW images or 165 full-frame JPEGs to be shot at that rate. In addition to improved real-time IAF for humans and animals, the Alpha 1 uses high-level subject recognition technology for real-time IAF for birds. Algorithms also maintain the AF tracking if a sitting bird takes off or the framing changes. The Sony Aeon is the first Sony Alpha series camera to feature 8K 3 10 bit 4, 2, 0 ZAV HS video recording. It's also capable of shooting 4, K120 type slash 6 type 10 bit 4, 2, 2 video and offers S Cinetone color. It uses 8.6K over sampling for enhanced resolution and, naturally, the 8K footage can be used for 4K editing during post production. The Sony A1 has a 9.44 million dot OLED Quad XGA electronic viewfinder with a refresh rate of up to 240 FPS, ensuring no blackout, delivering the highest resolution in its class. In addition, there's a 3-inch 1,440,000 dot tilting touchscreen that features the revised menu arrangement and more extensive touch control that was first seen in the Sony A7S Roman 3. In case a resolution of 50 MP isn't enough, the Sony Aeon has Sony's Pixel Shift multi-shooting mode on board to enable 16 full-resolution images to be composited. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Sony A7C. If you're looking for a small full-frame camera with Sony's excellent autofocus and noise control systems, then the Sony A7C is the way to go as its smallest of the Sony A7 series cameras. It has a flat top rectangular body that makes it look similar to the Sony A6600. But there's also a VARI angle screen rather than a tilting monitor. And inside, the A7C is the same 24MP sensor and core features as the Sony A7 Roman 3, paired with the FE28 system F-45.6 kit lens, which is a small collapsible optic 
The A7C makes an attractive choice for travel and everyday photography. However, in shrinking down the A7C, Sony also made a few compromises on the handling. There's no joystick on the back of the camera, for example, and there's only one control dial. In addition, the electronic viewfinder is the type of unit that is more commonly found in APS-C format cameras. While it's great to have a vari angle screen, if you can live without it and don't mind a slightly larger camera, then the Sony A7 Roman 3, which sits above the A7C in the range, makes a great alternative and costs a little less. The number 8 position is held by Sony ZV-1. The Sony ZV-1 delivers everything that a vlogger could wish for in a compact camera, and it comes with Sony's excellent AF system. There are features to help inexperienced photographers slash videographers slash vloggers get good results. The exposure can be controlled automatically or manually, and there's a built-in ND filter plus a log and gamma control. It makes it easy to produce great 4K video, but lets you take control when you want to. It all adds up to a very enticing camera for vloggers. Much of the specification on the Sony ZV-1 is familiar from the Sony RX10 series of compact cameras, but there are a few notable differences to make it better for vlogging. No surprise then to learn that the ZV-1 has a 1-inch type static more RS CMOS sensor with 20.1 million effective pixels. That's a comparatively large sensor for a compact camera, and as we've seen with cameras like the Sony RX10 Roman 7, it brings advantages for image quality. In addition, the Exmor RS CMOS sensor brings face detection focusing, which is usually faster and more decisive than contrast detection. The ZV-1 has a total of 315 phase detection AF points which are available for use in stills and video mode. Next at number 9, we have Sony RX10 Roman 7. Promising an and level AF performance as well as 9 to single burst shooting, the RX10 Roman 7 turned a lot of heads when it was announced and reinforced Sony's reputation as a true innovator in the market. Inside the RX10 Roman 7 is a 1-inch, stacked 20.1 megapixel Exmor R CMOS sensor with a DRAM chip and Sony's Beyond's X image processor. On the outside is a ZAISS Vario Sonar T Asterisk 24200VI f2.84.5. What should really get people excited, though, is the technology the RX10 Roman 7 inherits from Sony's Anon. Like the Anon, the RX10 Roman 7's image sensor realizes blackout free shooting for a completely live view, even when continuous shooting at 20 fps. The RX10 Roman 7 also promises Anon level AF. Flash AE tracking performance during continuous shooting, meaning the camera performs AF slash AE calculations up to 60 times per second and captures fast moving action at 20 fps with AF slash AE tracking. Sony's real time IAF and real time tracking modes also make their debut for the first time a compact camera. With 357 focal plane phase detection AF points and 425 contrast detection AF points, its AF system is among the best you will find in a camera this small. The Sony RX10 Roman 7 also debuted a new single burst shooting mode, which captures a high speed shot at up to 9 tiffs in JPEG or RAW format using the anti distortion shutter. Sony describes the mode as enabling photographers to frame fast, moving action, and shoot as if capturing a single frame. But the RX10 Roman 7 will deliver 7 frames, taken at 9 tiffs, 6 tiffs, or 3 tiffs. Aimed at vloggers, a Sony RX10 Roman 7 also brings some solid movie-making credentials, such as 4K body movie recording with full pixel readout and no pixel binning in high bit rates apps real-time tracking, and real-time IAF for video, and a microphone input. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Sony Anon Roman 2. The Sony Anon Roman 2 has the same stacked 24-megapixel full-frame sensor as its predecessor, the Sony Anon. However, it's paired with a more recent Beyonce X processor. The Anon Roman 2 also retains the Anon's much lauded 693 point phase detection AF system, which also includes 425 contrast AF points. It also incorporates Sony's real time IAF, real time tracking, and fast hybrid focusing modes. And it can fail to impress. Sony also improved the Anon Roman 2's weatherproofing, including enhancing the areas around the ports, battery, and memory card doors. A key attraction of the Sony Anon Roman 2 for wildlife photographers is its ability to shoot an up to 20th completely silently. That's all for today. 
We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.